Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mike Tyson. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Look for him to move forward. You know the flurries are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style as he tries to get inside. Takedown defense could be tested. I mean, that's what opponents are going to be looking to do. They're going to try to take Mike Tyson down. Easier said than done. Don't blink or you'll miss this one. Oh, beautiful head move. Slips there. Oh, nice counter, yes. Push kick there to the body. Big power shot there. Oh, once again, kick to the body is there. You gotta be kidding me. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. Oh, man, John, they're trading early. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Tyson's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Nice punch to the head. Beautiful right hook counter. We march on three minutes to go. Tyson gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Left-right combo is good. And blocks that hard punch. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. High cross, baby. High cross. Still the high cross. Oh. oh, he is stunned trying to recover here. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. And that left hook landed on the button. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh, masterful job by him. Oh. Under two minutes to go. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Tyson. Throwing that jab, no good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick land. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. And when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, elbow right there. Tyson gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Beautiful jab lands. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Just misses with the jab there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Both 
fighters throwing heat now. 15 seconds to go. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. It's those leg kicks that's eating them alive. Huge shot finds the target there. Uh, great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Don't just throw punches for the sake of throwing punches. You're going to get tired. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, yeah. round two. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh! Big right hand. Big shot to the head. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Tyson. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice inside kick. All right, keep pushing forward. Let's go. Nice body shot. He's got that jab working, nicely done. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong. Huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, with authority, the body. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. He's able to slip the left. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just out of range with the right Man, has his chin been tested early. Just over two minutes now to go. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, nice. Nice. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Back to the jab now. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. So you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four rounds gloves. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, 
Oh, nice body shot. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to win. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? I need you to pay attention. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Oh, he's wobbled now. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Now some separation from his clutch position. Final seconds here. Round three next. Great work. You won that last round. The boxing is unbelievable. I thought you had that guy knocked out last round. There's no way he wants to get back up off that stool. We got All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, here we go, third and final round. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very oh. good in that matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level. Oh. oh, he continues to attack the body. Oh, he's in trouble. Big right hand. Right on the button. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Good job blocking that shot. Be first, be first. Sidekick, well placed. Big power shot there. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Just out of range with that right hook. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh, my goodness. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. So Iron Mike Tyson's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Under three minutes with which to work in our third and final round. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's a oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! Beautiful combination! Oh, big left hook there! Oh, big knee to the body! Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Hook lands. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Huge he land. He fought with so much intensity early that he looks like he's starting to get a little tired. Oh! He's hurt, he's wobbling. Oh, that's big. Oh, big left. Finish with the high kick. 
Nice defense there. Huge block. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Oh! Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, that body kick landed. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping. Over and over, he's throwing it. And he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighter is used to see. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurting bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice loop and punch. Oh, you land, I land. That's how we're doing it. Oh! He's hurt now. Knee to the body. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Making all these shots count. Might be a submission attempt here. Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. <laughs> all right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Iron Mike Tyson! Well, who would have thought that the former boxing champion Iron Mike Tyson would become a bona fide UFC contender? This win tonight is certainly a step in the right direction. He had a lot of doubters in.